Hey, time for your life's math and history, and we are going to take a look at the ingredients in stoichiometry. So, we've been learning a lot about stoichiometry, or stoichiometry, or whatever you call it. And the thing about that is, we've been trying to look at the mass and the grams of the product when we have a balanced equation. But there is one little question that we have. The question is, what happens if we try to find the mass and also we find the amount of moles in the reactants, the ingredients? Because not only in chemistry, but when you're doing cooking, like when you bake something, you somehow have to get ingredients that contribute to the mass of the final thing or the final brownie, or the final cookie. Another game? Yeah, well, it's a mini game. You have one minute to win it. What? Come on, Ralph! Go! Mixing! Put the ingredients in the bowl and throw away the trash. Airbrush, no! Underpants, no, no! You're getting all the wrong stuff, kid. I'm trying! Ah, I'll do it. Oh, yes. Ah, gross. No, yes, 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 oh! Better off! So let's see what happens, how we can show that. And here is our question. Nitrogen and hydrogen combine together to make ammonium. If NH3 ammonium was produced at 20 grams, how many grams of each reactant would you need in order to make exactly 20 grams of NH3? So all we have to do is find out how many grams nitrogen weighs, and how many grams hydrogen weighs. There is something that is crazy about this problem. Is one, it's not simple addition where you can say x plus y equals 20. No way. And number three, you can't do that in a cookbook, or you can't do that when you bake something. One time, I accidentally put three cups of water into the, the mixing for the the brownies, but it literally said one-third. I forgot to read the fraction. So let's see what happens. We have nitrogen and we have hydrogen. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to create two problems that involve two equations that involve finding grams to grams. So this is going to be MA to MA. So let's get started. Let's focus on the hydrogen first and see what happens. So first we'll have to say 20.0 grams of NH3. Then we have to multiply that by some kind of molar mass conversion. To get from molar mass, we are going to say one mole of NH3 is going to be equal to 17.04 grams per mole. That happens because we are trying to find how many grams of hydrogen there are. So we went from the known, then we said the molar mass, then we have to multiply that by the comparison between the two of the elements. So since we have NH3 on the top, we have to cancel out and say NH3 on the bottom. And when we say NH3, we're going to put 2 right there, so 2 moles of NH3. The reason why we are doing this is we're trying to find what the amount of grams nitrogen and hydrogen have in the mass. But not only that, when we did mass to mass, that was the last type geometry problem. So we probably understand how to do this kind of problem too. And we're trying to compare it with hydrogen. And since we have a 3 there, we're going to put 3 moles of H2. Then we have to do one more step. We have to multiply by the molar mass of hydrogen to get the mass of hydrogen. So we're going to say 1.007, that is the molar mass, is going to be equal to 1 mole of H. But the problem is, we're not saying H, we're saying H2. So here is what's going to happen. 
we instead are going to say 2.014 instead. Because we have H2. And that is why for ammonium, it's 17.04. Because it has nitrogen, hydrogen times 3 involved. So when you do that, you'll get an answer. And let's try to focus on the other problem as well. Let's check out this one. So we're trying to find the mass for nitrogen. So we got to write 20.0 grams again of NH3. Multiply that by the molar mass of NH3. That's going to be 17.04 for one mole of NH3. Then when we have to multiply that by the ratios, we will get, for nitrogen, we're going to say that there is going to be one mole of N2 of nitrogen 2, and that is going to be divided by two moles of NH3 because of this over here. Multiply that again by the molar mass for nitrogen, and we are going to put 28 grams on the top and put one mole of N2 on the bottom, because one nitrogen is 14, and another one is 28. So that is how we got 28 grams, divided by one mole of nitrogen. So, what are the answers to these? Well, for hydrogen itself, the mass is going to be 3.0 grams, 3.0 grams. Wait. For hydrogen itself, the mass for this only individual is 3.5 grams. So that is telling us hydrogen would only have a mass of 3.5 grams that is needed to make this right here. But what about nitrogen? If you do all the math from the last video, where we did this times this times this times this divided by this divided by this by this, we are going to get 16 grams of nitrogen. So nitrogen by itself is going to be 16 grams as the mass. Add the two, and we get 2NH3, ammonia. And that is how we can understand the ingredients in stichiometry. Decorating! Wheel first! How many? Four doors! Yeah, 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 yeah. Now frosting, a buttload of frosting! No problem! Congratulations! You did it! And here's your car! I hope this video has helped you understand the ingredients in stichiometry. Thank you for watching Top Finger Lives Math Industry. Like and subscribe.